MFA Updates. Hello, good morning. Welcome to MFA Update, a weekly program. We will bring you Thailand for learn affair and activity. You are here with me, k a f i l n a c h a b u n m i For this session, we are to welcome k u n j i t w i p a b e n j a s i n Director of Social Division, Department of International Organization, to be talking about the candidate of Thailand to the Human Rights Council, 2025-2027. The Foreign Affairs That Matter. Special guests from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the MFA updates. Good morning, k u n j i t w i p a It's my pleasure to welcome you to the show today. Could you share the background and significance of the Human Rights Council to the listener? Um, good morning, everyone, and um, thank you for having me. Well, um, in addressing uh, your question on on the um, background of uh, Human Rights Council, um, the HRC is uh, in the governmental body of the United Nations. Actually, is one of the issue uh, which is uh, one of the three main pillars of the UN. The council is made up of uh, 47 states from five regional groups. The council is responsible for promoting and protecting human rights around the world. Um, in terms of the meetings of the council, the, me- um, the council meets in three main sessions uh, a year to discuss uh, both the thematic issues of human rights as well as the human rights situation in country. Um, Actually, the human rights issues that are um, discussed and debated uh, are evolving concept, and actually it covers a wide range of issues, um, ranging from economic, social, cultural rights, mm-hmm. um, such as right to food, right to um, clean water, sanitation, mm-hmm. uh, right to health, as well as the civil political rights, um, rights to vote, um, freedom of movement. Freedom of expression and opinions, for example, as well as um, taking care of groups' rights, um, children's rights, women's mm-hmm. rights, um, rights of persons with disability. We can see that it's a wide range of issues. Um, many are cross-cutting, and uh, I have to say that human rights are issues that are linked and actually uh, mutually reinforcing uh, sustainable development. So we can say that well, in promoting. And protecting human rights, uh, it actually contributes to the advancement of sustainable development goals. Mm-hmm. What are the time frame and procedure for applying to be a um, membership of the HRC for the Thailand membership? Well, um, actually, we announced our candidature about two years ago, and uh, um, Thailand has been endorsed as the ASEAN candidate. And um, the election um, will take place in New York in October 2024, which is next year. Uh, in the procedure, we have to uh, make pledges of what we want to do. We have to present our visions on how we feel that well, we can be a good member contributing to the work of the council. And um, we also work to seek support from uh, member states to to vote for us at the election, and that's uh, very much based on the trust mm-hmm. and confidence that they have in Thailand and the, the team that that work on human rights in Thailand, and uh, that actually also depends on the track record of Thailand. I uh, must. Say that well. Um, Thailand has served as a member of the Council before, mm-hmm. which is uh, from year 2010 to 2013. Mm-hmm. And during that time, our permanent representative in Geneva was also uh, uh, serving as the president of the Council. And um, in general, Thailand has been regarded as a bridge builder uh, and also a constructive player at the Council. Uh, many believe that. Um, Thailand can, with our positive approach, we can help address diverging views, uh, build solidarity, uh, promoting dialogue and cooperation in the council, which would help um, move forward many important and meaningful agenda of the council. Um, Thailand has also uh, initiated um, an annual HRC resolution on the issue of uh, enhancement of technical cooperation and capacity building in the field of human rights. Uh, that's because we believe that while well, countries should work together in in promoting and protecting human rights, and it should work through a positive approach, um, through dialogue and through uh, cooperation, 
and through uh, support that uh, we, we can help each other in the implementation of human rights. Um, this week, we have the high-level representative from our new mm -hmm. government um, attending the um, UN General Assembly, um, the 70th session in New York. So um, we took this as a good opportunity to introduce our new government. At the same time, um, uh, we also take it as a good chance that we host a reception to launch our campaign on HRC and seek support from, from leaders and um, high-level representatives from other countries uh, that would gather in, in New York this week. Mm -hmm. If Thailand is an HRC member, what are the specific issues that you would put forward and what benefit will Thailand receive? Well, I think in, in the big picture, we, we want to make um, HRC relevant. And uh, by saying being relevant, um, it means that the council should handle relevant issues, um, addressing existing as well as new human rights challenges, um, including the pandemic, uh, I mentioned the right to health, uh, including the impact of digital technology with its implication on human rights, as well as um, climate change and the environment that have impact on, on the lives of people. Also, we, we should make the council um, relevant to people on the ground, meaning that, well, it should bring positive change, um, tangible changes. Um, it should lead to the concrete upgrades and implementation of uh, international human rights standards as discussed or agreed in Geneva, it should, should lead to real actions at the local and at national level. Mm -hmm. And um, at the same time, um, Thailand can also share our human rights experience as practice to other countries. While well, many might have known, uh, we we being known for um, um, working and uh, promoting universal health coverage, which is linked to right to health for decades and it's been uh, proved quite successful. We can share that experience. We also advocate for business and human rights, um, engaging business sector um, to promote and protect human rights. We also um, attach importance to uh, groups' rights, um, children's rights, women's rights, person with disability rights, for example. So as I say, um, this should work both inside out and outside in, uh, in terms mm -hmm. of linking um, international um, uh, forum with the implementation at home and also sharing our experience. Um, so when the Thai government is committed, we work both at the multilateral at global level and also at home, which uh, should bring benefit to, to Thai people. Um, so I think in, in, in summary, I think Thailand believes that, well, the HRC should not only address human rights challenges of our time, but also taking care and um, take on the human rights issue of future generations as well to, to remain relevant. And the final question, what is the law of Thailand MFA in the paying to be HRC member? that you would like to share the listener? Well, um, talking about the, the role of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, mm -hmm. um, um, I mentioned earlier that uh, we, we secured the endorsement uh, for Thailand as the ASEAN candidate. Uh, we also have received support from some number of countries already. Now we're working on the campaign. We seek more support, including uh, by organizing the reception at the sidelines of the UN General Assembly high level week in New York this week. Um, we also um, engage important human rights players, multi-stakeholders, because uh, the work on human rights involves everyone. And, and uh, that also includes um, uh, civil society and uh, business sector as well. And um, it's not just the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, um, other ministries, for example, Ministry of Justice, uh, mm -hmm. Ministry of Social Development, Human Security. They also play an important part in this. Um, they have their networks of partners working in the field of human rights, um, as well as sustainable development, which are linked. And um, they can actually help um, in seeking support. And at the same time, I think, in, in promoting that, in doing so, um, that also helps um, raise awareness in general and also help um, generate interest on various uh, issues of human rights among the Thai general public and in the society, which is, which is a good thing. And um, this year, um, we also celebrate the 75th anniversary 
of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Mm -hmm. So we hope that well, um, it's good occasion that we can work with uh, many partners to um, celebrate this um, occasion and also to um, further strengthen our work, our cooperation at home and overseas um, to make sure that well, uh, human rights uh, actually belong to, to everyone. That's it, the excited position for Thailand membership. So, thank you so much, Kunjit Vipa, for joining us today. Thank you. Khap uh, Kunha. That's what Kunjit Vipa Bintasin, Director of Social Division, Department of International Organization, talking about the candidate of Thailand, to the Human Rights Council for the term 2025-2027. And that is it, the program MFA Update today. If you want to listen to the previous episode of the program, you could visit the YouTube channel MFA Thailand. And please don't forget to check out our Facebook page FM88 Radio Thailand English. Thank you so much everyone for listening. And I will see you next time. I am Garfield Nachabunmi. สวัสดีค่ะ. MFA Updates